here. And apparently... A pack of pickle peppers by the pontar. <laughs> Done celebrating. My favorite words. Life without savoring the sound of surreptitious shenanigans is like licking snails through a cloth. Thank you for this, noble whoever you are. Long be your life. Yeah, we didn't even introduce I ourselves. You, now you help me. Would you turn this beautiful act of altruism into a banal bartering of favors? Yep. How do you lock someone's voice in a bottle? Just wondering. As am I, especially as mine's a voice to crown all voices. Sometimes it's like a forest brook, at others like a roll of thunder. And let's be honest, I talk enough to fill three barrels or more. Yeah, Somebody that's true. Powerful magic on you, as a prank or just to be mean. Okay, and why did you actually lose your voice? How did you lose your voice? One morning I awoke and opened my mouth for my usual bout of singing with the thrushes. Lo and behold, no sound escaped. I tried and tried, almost burst a blood vessel. Then I went to the village, because word has it, the new cunning woman works miracles. But people began crying out, a smudger, a smudger, and sick their dogs on me. He's talking about Do Kira. Do I look like a smudger to you? <laughs> not a bit. Well, I thought not. So it must be the crones doing. Who else would curse me? Blackbird friend of mine located my voice, but I was helpless to retrieve it. Couldn't ask a raven friend to just give you the bottle? Ravens serve the crones. They don't help no one. And since we found that raven feather near his bottle, that indicates that the crones were indeed behind the stealing of his voice. I'm looking for a young ashen-haired woman. See anyone like that? Did I ever? Remember it as if it were yesterday. Soon as I woke, I went to empty my bowels. My favorite part of the day. Defecating to the sunrise. Downright glorious. Oh, I love this Suddenly, guy. Suddenly, heard a bang. So loud, it couldn't have been me. <laughs> and that lass appeared. Out of nowhere. Young, ashen-haired. Just like you said. Wounded and panting to boot. She raced off towards the children's huts. Quick as if the crones were after her. I yelled some unpleasantries. She disturbed my morn. Sadly, I'd lost my voice, so I don't think she heard me. So she went off uh, towards the village, probably. After that, the woman from the village in the swamp. I've been to the village in the swamp. Met a woman who might have been a crone. Did she seem confused to you? Nuts, completely. <laughs> So I'm not crazy. That's no crone. That's the granny who takes care of the orphans. Claims the kids made me up. Me. An orphanage in a swamp? What do you have against swamps? Lived here my whole life, and I heartily recommend it. <laughs> Apart from the diseases, which we don't have an issue with, because witches are immune to most diseases. What do you know about the crones? They're as old as this forest. Cruel. Vindictive, not to be crossed. What if someone does cross them? Might take his voice, might take his life. Depends on their whim. They're nasty, although they care for this land and its folk in their own way. Supposedly they always keep their word, but you must be careful what you ask for. Be Won't careful what them you until wish they for. Want to be found. See them until they want to be seen. But remember, they see and hear all that happens in the mire. Including everything we've been through until now. She ran off toward the orphanage. Kids could know something, or the old woman who takes care of them. Oh, that old hag don't speak to strangers, and you're a stranger. Will she talk to you? I have spoken to her, got my ways. Got my so, ways. Yeah, you helped me, and I'm no bore. Come with me. Okay, so Johnny agreed to help us. I still love my golden boots, by the way. I'm gonna check if I haven't gotten anything else in the meantime in terms of equipment because I found a few things earlier on. I got a better sword, but I do lose the poisoning. The 
the 10 damage is too, uh, too nice to pass up, I think. So let's switch that up. A better Gambazon. And an even better Gambazon. So. Let's put that in. And we look fancy as ever. And the rest is still the same. So let's go. Go on, Johnny, lead away. And don't be dazed by my glamorous attire. So first take out the Drowner. And there they go. I'm starting to get the hang of it. Water Essence. Oh, we needed that. We needed that. And I remember that we needed that. Alchemy. Oh, we can make another blue mutagen. That will come in handy. And a greater mutagen. Hmm. I am going to do that. Since that will help out a lot. I was doubting because it takes away the ones that you have equipped, I think. So, wait. I did need that right for cat. There we go. Now we have cat and that grants us sort of night vision when we use it for 240 seconds, which is 4 minutes in real time. So great, now I'm gonna check my character again. And as I said, it used the mutagens I had equipped as well. So replace that with a greater blue mutagen. There we go. So that gives us an extra 40% sign intensity for a total of 54% extra sign intensity, which is uh, starting to add up nicely. So, continue following Johnny, who hit here, apparently. Any handy loot, Johnny? Okay. Let's go. So this is actually also the place where the loading screen comes from, with that shrine over on the left. It's about this, I think. So back at the orphanage. Good. It's clear. Not a crone in sight. I need to sing to Gran. That ought to calm her. Well, we've heard your voice and that wasn't anything too shabby. Little Johnny softly gazed, fire waning pale. Pop a spark jumped out and whispered, listen, I tell. So Gran is a pretty yeah. mysterious woman. You got your voice back. I did, though I seem to have lost an octave somewhere in the process. I shall look for it when I get home. Because there's more You're to her than meets the eye. You shouldn't have come. Calm down, Gran. Don't get angry. It's not good for you. Uh, we ha we've helped him. Can you take me to the crowns? Forgive me, Gran, but this fellow absolutely must talk to the ladies. No, she's not allowed. Please, it's important. The fellow will be quiet. Gran, please hear me out. I found little Yagna when she got lost, did I not? Did I break Jenny's fever too? I did. I ask anything in return? No. Didn't even fuss about my stolen voice. Well, now I want something. Gran, help this fellow. Because otherwise he'll pester me day and night, even during potty time. His lass is missing. Perhaps the ladies can help find her, eh? Even during potty time. Well, so Johnny is a really since you put nice work, being. Johnny, I'll help him. Come with me. Okay, let's go. To meet the infamous ladies of the bog. In the tallest house in the orphanage, of course. Yeah, that's a dead bat. And another one. Johnny's and hooks. A good, good lad. Though the ladies don't like him. No. Foul creature, they say. Don't like him. Who are the women in the tapestry? Those are the ladies. Ladies, lovely. 
with power o'er all. Beseech I thee, answer my call. Before you a worm crawls, wretched and small. So that's not creepy at all. And there How go dare the eyes. You disturb our rest woman. Uh they speak through you. Someone speaking through you? Good looking and clever too. Where have you been hiding, boy? So let's not uh chastise him. Let's talk. I'm looking for the woman with ashen hair. I know you met her. Where is she? Oh, he's impatient. Perhaps he only likes ashen-haired girls. Okay. The young woman. She's my daughter by choice. I raised her. <laughs> if she should be, what does it matter? <laughs> okay. That's not weird at all. To me. I believe we've hit a nerve. He's bubbling like well-fed yeast. So there are three. Oh, that's how I like them. And they all have a distinguished voice. Distinct voice, I meant. So, what happened to her? It's clear you met her. Tell me everything. That was blunt. Well, perhaps it's for the best. Tell me, have you got bollocks? Do you fear woodland beasts? Well, oh, I have slain my fair share of them. This white haired one. Brother has turned against brother. The land is soaked in blood. Evil reigns stronger than ever before. A dark power has surfaced near Down Warren. It feeds on hatred and disdain. Destroy the beast, and we may be grateful. Tell you all we know about this ashen haired maid. Dark power? You need a knight errant, or a witch hunter, not a witcher. The alderman of Down Warren will tell you all. Remember to collect payment from him after you complete your task. And apparently, and we don't need the prize. Will bring you the dagger. Okay, why do I need that? A dagger? What for? When the alderman sees this dagger, he'll know we sent you. He'll aid with all. Okay. It's a deal then. I'll talk to the alderman, but I can't promise anything. Move, woman! Give the young man the dagger. And you, white one, return only once you've completed the task. So the orphanage is the home of these creepy old crones, the crones of Crookback Bork, which oh, he appear to have a lot of magic dagger. behind them. Gotta bring the dagger. Which begs to differ what they, uh, which begs the to question what they want for those children. Lady told me to give it to you. Here it is, the dagger. Okay, that's a big thing. Place the alderman's payment on the stone. Stone bear, stone shear, stone nose, stone ears. Okay, so we need to find out what the village's problem is and receive payment for that. And then return to these lovely ladies. Man, this place is creeping me out. Okay, let's go back outside. So the village of Down Warren is not that far off. So we'll head there now. And that's the loading screen I was talking about. So arriving at the little village of Down Warren. And the man in green is the elderman here. So let's talk to him. Greetings. Nice village. Aye, a real pearl of the swamps, if you say so. 
You get by all right? Aye, winter to winter. Somehow we survive. Recognize this dagger? Aye, master. I didn't know you belonged to them. Yeah, I don't know why Geralt was small talking you at the first place. So you know who sent me? Good. Easier that way. Forgive me. We didn't know you came from the ladies of the wood. They help you often? From the time of his cutting, every man is theirs. They be harsh mistresses, but they're fair. Just. Demanding they can be, but then nothing in life comes easy. Who drove off the plaguey heirs? Who gave us seeds to plant? Around the other villages, they be eating the soles of their boots, whereas we, well, we get along well enough. So, ever seen them? Ever meet the ladies of the wood? Never. They only shows themselves to the chosen. Perchance one day, I too will be summoned. Hmm. They don't seem like pleasant ladies to meet in person, though. Hear about an ashen-haired woman meeting the ladies of the wood? I ain't heard nothing about that. Bag your question to the ladies and they may answer. They knows all that happens in Valor. They got informers? The woods listen for them. A lone word at an ill hour can arouse their wrath, but they hear pleas and prayers as well. Once a swiner had lost a sow, sat and cried at the crossroads. The sow ran out of the trees as if chased by a devil, straight to the swineherd. Okay. So, we could try, we could have tried to uh, get Sirius' location out of him, but he doesn't know anything as well. So let's get to the problem. I'm supposed to help solve your problem. Tell me what it is. Just the essentials. The war awoke an ancient power. An evil one that feeds on bloodshed. Nightmares haunt our nights and days. Folks sleepwalk from their homes, never to return. Under the tree on the Whispering Hillock they lie. Unburied all. Fathers, sons, daughters and mothers. Folk are afeard to move them. You must go there. The dark powers must be cast off. Okay then. Have you got any more information for me? Need more details. You must see for yourself. Me grand's mum whacked me crosswise for straying near the Whispering Hillock. But what happens there now is a wonder. A few times folk from round here gathered to chop down the trees and burn the cursed soil back to use. None returned. The ground neath the weeds is white with human bones. Okay, that sounds really ominous. When did all this start? Three year back. I remember, it was a warm day. Went to check the snares for game. Pulled the hair from the trap. It grew dark all of a sudden, though it was nigh on noontime. I thought it was a storm at first. A squeal pierced the air, near burst me ears. The hair rotted in me hands, and the leaves shriveled and yellowed, though it were yet the start of summer. Times have been ill ever since. Folks' teeth turn black as charcoal. Women folk fight like polecats, bawling and brawling over nothing. The young'uns, born crippled, lame, fear and cursing. Long have we pled for the lady's help. That sounds really bad, all of it. So let's find out what is the cause of all of this. Ladies of the wood don't know what this power is. They know all. Old Thecla claimed they'd be punishing us. Folks stop respecting them. Some even call them witches. But must not be they, for they sent you. I'll look around the Whispering Hillock. You be careful, Master Witcher. Don't ye treat this evil light. It could be the ladies, since they might want to get your respect back. And just want to use this power or whatever it is as a patsy. Gonna quickly check the notice board in here as well. Anyone knows how to read, read this and read it careful so that it's known far and wide, or at least throughout the whole village. Out in the bog, by where we dig peat, there's a beast that feeds on men and spurts out deadly mists all around itself. If you're good with a sword and looking for coin, know that I'll pay and pay well for that beast's head. 
And to everyone else, stay out of that accursed vault if you value your lives. Don't say, I didn't warn you. Let's love. So another contract for later. The Swamp Thing. So, we're gonna go into the forest again and try and find out where all of this is coming from. Be gone. Come no closer. I know whence you come. So, a mysterious voice calls upon us when we arrive at the Whispering Hillock. The powers that protect me, they sense whence you come. So, indeed a lot of dead people. Bites. Apparently attacked by something with fangs and long claws. And the last time we found a few wolves, we had to fight a werewolf. So this might be just the same thing. Kid. Another corpse in here. The dead kid. And there is something underneath the tree. First gonna try and uh, take a look around. Because aside from the wolves, we haven't found anything suspicious yet. Here's another corpse. Even the women weren't spared. So indicating that it has no remorse whatever killed these people. A voice from within the tree. And this is the giant tree we saw when we were at the lake, by the way. The whispering hillock. I'm gonna take a look around further because there's still our other wolves around. I don't want to get eaten in the back. And then we find another corpse. Mm, magic. A place of power. It looks like another corpse of a kid. And there is in fact a place of power in, around here. Near the entrance of what seems to be a cave. Be gone. Be gone. And as be we gone. suspected, there's a werewolf around here. As with the previous one, we really need to be extremely aggressive in how we approach this. Because he would be able to regenerate way too much health for us to take off. Who are you? So we now know that the people were actually killed by the werewolf. And not whatever is hiding in this tree. Who's gonna get the place of power? Which will now strengthen our Igni sign even further for half an hour. And gives us an extra ability point, which I'll spend immediately. So we're not done yet with the Igni melt armor bit. And we can't equip any more. Ability, so for now we'll just upgrade that one. There we go. I'm gonna eat a few things to heal up. And then we'll head inside the cave.
So, a quick save. And these roots seem to be, well, alive. There's something behind them, but we can't reach through here. So we're gonna have to take the long way around. Taking a little dip in the water. Seems to be a chest here around the corner. With a diagram and a Doppler decoction. So definitely worth looting all these things. And when we get out on the other side, we arrive in a wide open space. And find Why the evil power. Why spill this blood? Are you here to grant me death? Or is my freedom your wish? So the Whispering Hillock has some kind of grotesque heart living underneath it. I saw women, children even, lying dead on this hill. They want to destroy you. To nature. To the forest and earth. All death is an island. And any death is equal. I cry. I, I will. None are So what or who are you exactly? Who are you? I abandoned my circle. Where I kept the balance. My ghost. Never heard of a druid circle in Velen. I wander eternally through a maze of vows, helplessly sliding or rusty. Must know the crones pretty well. They are Velen's curse. They hear all through severed ears. They weave hair and twist lines. They take their strength from the broth of human flesh. So why did they exactly kill you? Why did they kill you? The crones want this land. They drew the wood alone. I stood in their way. I had to die. I was attacked. This is my presence. A fortress this Murderers I await, and my forest protects me. Murderers? Murderous sisters. Killed my body. Now my soul they hunt, for I defy them. So, both the crones, as this guy mentions, were uh, enchantresses. All three of the crones were enchantresses before, and this guy was a mage before, since he talked about defying his circle. So, he mentioned that I could free him. You claim to be imprisoned. How so? I am bound here in fetters of magic. I wander endlessly. A labyrinth of thieves. The children. I know all. I know what awaits them. Free me, please. I must help. If something threatens the orphans, I'll help them myself. The children have been taken. Freely, please. I can't be a gale. A gallop unchained. I shall save them. Only I can. So, we're again faced with an extremely difficult decision. So, um, we can either help him or don't help him, and if we don't help him, we need to kill him. So, um, those are the choices we have, with extreme consequences for each one. Uh, this is one of those choices that doesn't have a correct or a right or a wrong answer. They're a bit of the, the, the same though, so they're both 
power-hungry magical entities the crones are and this guy are is so it's it's kind of choosing between the the plague and something even worse so let's first hear him out a bit more the crones what do you know about them the sisters are older than the oldest trees Velen is their realm all life here serves them the sisters live concealed you will not find them the year all you cannot hide women, children even, lying dead on this hill. Did they want to destroy you? To nature, I cry. Why do you think the kids from the meadow are in danger? The sisters took them. They shall not return. Where'd they take them? I can help. It is done already. It cannot be undone. There are no rules. To our ceremony, they shall all die. Let them be saved. So, it's time to take our decision. He is correct, the children have been abducted by the crones by now. So, if we return, they will have disappeared. The problem is that if we free him, the crones will be furious. And, um,. That's not good as well. So it's an incredibly different, <laughs> difficult decision. Oh, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. So I'm gonna go for the children this time, I think. Um, last time I did the opposite and killed this thing. But uh, in this playthrough I'll try and help him. Because I think the battle we have to do otherwise against him is pretty tough. So, I'll help you. If you can save the orphans from the meadow. I will find them, free them, open the door of my cage. Blood is my escape, a rite you must perform. With the black of raven feathers, the white of my bones, and the swift steed. A bear, wild and free, in meadows pasture court, dark as a bottomless well. Black as the depths of night, such a beast, no other. Gather these and bring them here. Okay, I think we already found raven feathers. Got some raven feathers. Find my remains and bring me a mount. A wind born a steed, a black squall turned horse. Okay, that was the voice of one of the sisters, one of the crones. So that was weird. Why do we need a black horse? The beast and I shall be as one. As when I lived, we shall be a gale. Nothing to stop us. A wild steed from meadows moist. And your remains, where we can well, find them. Remains. My bones, they lie in a solitary mound nearby, due west. I'll gather what I need to free you, then return. Gather and return to the hillock's depths, to the tree's rotten heart. Pierce my heart, let the blood glow. To be born again, I must first be consumed. Gross. Go now and return through the passage I have opened. So again, the voices of the crones. So I don't really know if I made the right decision. But it. On that note, I'm gonna take a little break. So when we return, we will gather the ingredients to help this ugly thing behind me. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you guys enormously for watching. I almost forgot what to say there. Thank you guys enormously for watching and I hope to see you in the next video or stream. 
Goodbye.